What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Marvel Phase 2 podcast for Captain America Winter Soldier. This movie, Bucky Barnes is in fact the Winter Soldier, as Cleo correctly predicted. Hydra has sleeper cells within S.H.I.E.L.D. And look out, Captain America's on your left. Uh, <laughs> first, we got my co-hosts, uh, Captain America. Oh, Hello. it's Cleo America. Cleo of America, yes. A.K.A. Cleo. Cleo Moto? Yes, Cleo Moto. And Mike. Hi. How's it going? Just saw this movie this morning. Yeah, yeah. Worth. This morning. Do you know how long I've been waiting to talk to you about this movie? Sorry. Since Thursday. Since midnight. Like, since the first... Since <laughs> I wanted to text Friday, everybody... Friday morning. I want to text everybody and be like, on your left. On your left! <laughs> <laughs> I, our, <laughs> our friend... Don't, don't you say it. Don't our friend, say it. Our friend Sarah, um, she, she posted on Facebook. She's like, I, I'm not going to be able to see it for a few days or whatever. No spoilers. So she didn't specify what spoilers she wanted not to have. So I just started spoiling every movie. I was like, Snape kills Dumbledore. Uh, the guy was dead on the floor the whole time. Uh, it ends up being a post-apocalyptic version of Earth, um, like, <laughs> you know, all these, all these completely things, and then I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna spoil the end of the movie for her, so everything that we were saying back and forth, I was like, literally, the end of the movie was, on your left, that's his last words, so, I, I was like, well, almost last words. well, yeah, when he, when he, well, that was when he woke up in the hospital, so it, it was, it's the end of the movie, so I was like, that's it, I'm, I'm spoiling the end of the movie. It's, it's happening. Yeah. So, I don't know, that was that was one of the, the scenes that made me laugh probably the most. Because I didn't realize that he was lapping the same person until the <laughs> third time. Like, I was like, on your left, and I was like, okay, well, the second time, on your left, alright, he passed another guy. Then the third time, when he's like, don't you say it, I was like, oh, he's been lapping the same guy the whole time. No, I knew it, because, I mean, I knew he was Falcon, he was Sam, so I, I knew I knew it was the same guy. Well, it was such a far-back shot, you couldn't really tell who it was at the, the time, the uh, the initial shot, like, you you couldn't, it was just silhouettes at that point, you couldn't see who oh, it was. Oh, I, I knew it was Sam. <laughs> uh, so, on your left. On your left. <laughs> and then... <laughs> what I didn't realize, the worst I timing. they knew each other. The worst timing is I was eating a Skittle. When he woke up in the hospital and said, on your left, and I started joking. <laughs> <laughs> it was the absolute worst, because it caught me out of nowhere, but... Yeah. Yeah. What did, so what did you guys think of this movie? It was fantastic. Yeah. It was better than Avengers. It was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so Mike was like, I think I like this movie better than the Avengers. And I was like, yes. I, uh... I think it's the best one of the the Marvel movies thus far. It is. And uh there there's no, like I went back and I watched all of the cinematic universe like just recently within the week. And uh there's really not any hints toward excuse me, um toward Hydra being uh sleeper cells in shield. And then I was doing some research and in fact this was not known to anybody until the final day of shooting the Avengers. Oh. This is when they came up with the plan for it. So yeah. um so we we've been through um two other movies in phase two thus far. We've been through Iron Man three and, and Thor the Dark World. And uh I've not watched Iron Man three again because I, I don't own it. I'm waiting until phase two comes out in a box set. Um, so I couldn't go back and watch it, so I couldn't tell if there was any little hints or anything in that, but, um, there definitely was not in Thor, to my knowledge, anyway. Uh, hints of, oh, about of, of Hydra? Hydra? of any no, kind of... No, not, I just watched Iron Man 3. There yeah. was very little from S.H.I.E.L.D. at all in, um, in Iron Man 3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we did get a lot of backstory on S.H.I.E.L.D., which was awesome. Um, we found out that Peggy yeah. Carter... Um, she founded, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. with, mm -hmm. uh, who was it, Howard Stark? Howard. Um, Howard. What is he, Stark's father, Daddy. grandfather? Daddy. Daddy. His father. So, yeah, um, we found that out. Um, 
I don't know, like, we we didn't know who started S.H.I.E.L.D. before, right? We, we had some hints at it in the TV show, um, right? They showed the plaque and stuff, but that was just for fallen soldiers, right? We didn't see anybody, founders or anything like that on the show, right? Hmm. I don't... Remember when no. they went to the hub and the, that was just the no, plaque, right? No, no. There was no founding members or anything listed oh, there, so yeah, no. we no, didn't no, have no. any of this... Uh, this knowledge beforehand. What was the the name of the building that was in the uh, the Triskelion? The Triskelion. Now we haven't seen that in the the show. We thought the hub was Shield headquarters, uh, according to the yeah. show. They've mentioned the Triskelion uh, half a dozen times over the course of the uh, series so far. Right. I didn't. I didn't but realize that that was the headquarters, though. I thought the hub was. I never. I never uh, thought of the hub as headquarters. Mm. Mm. Because uh, the hub is where they train S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, right? Yeah. Isn't that the hub? Yes. Yeah. So I always thought the hub was just like a, a I don't know, training, training ground. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Or it's the Maybe. hub of, like, guy. I, I don't know. They kind of did swing, you know, sell the hub as a headquarters-like place. Yeah, it's got a headquarters-like name. Yeah. At headquarters, like, feel. Yeah, just, like, the security clearances and everything. I don't know. I, I felt like it was the hub. I thought it was, like, the be-all, end-all of, of S.H.I.E.L.D., but, um, I don't know. I Like you said, I, I do remember them mentioning it, but I don't remember them explaining what it was. So, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It just, could just be me. But, um, alright, so, f the first thing that caught me off guard in this movie was... Nick Fury's death. Yes, Nick Fury's. Well, I mean, the first thing that caught me off guard was that Peggy's still alive. Well, yeah, yeah. That, that's before. I think that happens before. It's in the very beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then, Goes. you know, we we do see her at the dead. end of the movie. Um, yeah, definitely thought she was dead. She's in a hospital bed. Um, Captain America uh, does mention that he still didn't have that dance. Still didn't get that last dance, the one that they planned when uh, his ship went down in uh, the first Captain America. Uh, when they planned, oh, next next week, next Tuesday, be there. And uh, he's like, I will, and then it just cuts out. So We haven't seen her since then. Um, so now, yeah, she's still alive. He mentions it. So do you think we'll, they'll eventually get their dance in uh, Captain America 3? No. No? I don't think so. No it's dance? She's way too sick. So, and if they did, she wouldn't remember. Mm hmm. It's so sad. Yeah. Kind of is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But, okay, so, so Nick Fury. Hmm. Did you guys think he was dead, dead? No. I was hoping not. I, 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 it took me a few minutes of serious thinking. Yeah. I, um,. I actually, for a second, thought that it was a scroll thing, where, like, there was going to be a Fury doppelganger, and it was going to end up being an alien, but then, at the you know, realized that wasn't what was happening. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, instantly, like, it went through, and I'm like, oh, they'll fix him. He's okay. And then I was like, wait a second. The, the serum that Coulson and Sky used, it's, the whole place blew up. They don't have access to this anymore. Like, it's gone and then i was like but and then they just showed his vitals and he he, he coded he, yeah. he he's he's gone i was like you can't do that i go he was just on jimmy fallon provo promoting the movie him and chris evans and uh falcon were were they, they were all he was only mostly dead i was like he's barely in the movie I go, he's dead. This is the worst. I was so upset. And then I'm like, what does this do for S.H.I.E.L.D. now? Like, they've been trying to contact Nick Fury, like, on the on the show. Yeah. And I'm mm -hmm. like... Well, that's another reason why I knew he wasn't dead, because... Um, because May was like, I, you know, Fury's back on the grid, he wants to talk to you. Right, but that took place before Captain America. Yes. So... Yeah. So what, he went off the grid, then was back on for five seconds, and then went off again, because he died? I don't, I don't know. know. We don't I know. Was, we I don't feel know like exactly. I feel like, like, I feel like the movie um, 
took place like in the mi- or sh- that shield episode we just watched took place in the m- middle of the Captain America. Yes. Um mm. No, it couldn't have cuz ja- Jasper Sitwell uh, was yeah. on the ship at the beginning of the movie yeah, and he had just left the a... the shield bus. That's why I think there's a timeline issue. These things match up but not completely. It's possible. No, uh, that are, it, the it, timeline will be revealed. He couldn't on have been Tuesday. off the grid. And then sit like, and then sit well, and then they play it backward in the movie. It would that wouldn't have worked. Maybe he went off the grid to hire those pirates. He could have, and that you know, and do all that stuff and set up. Yeah, he could know, have been set up the boat. Yeah, maybe he, he wasn't going on thing. just yet. So and then he came back. Yeah. So when I I started watching, right? All right. So hold on, I want to address this real quick. Uh, uh Goblin Graf in, in chat. Uh, he goes, uh, "You really thought Nick Fury was dead?" And yeah, I did. Simply because they just pulled this on us in the Avengers, where the character's dead, and then they bring him back that he's not. And how many times has Marvel done this now, where they kill off a character that's not really dead, and they fake it? Like, Are we talking about uh, movies, show? Yeah, the, the movies. Or comics, because then it's infinite. The, yeah, the comics are infinite. But I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. within the, the movies, like like you said, Peggy, not that they showed her die, but it's just... Things that you you're expecting, they're they're dead. Oh, oh, I see. What and you and mean. they're Not back, and it's they're just brought back from the dead. right, right. So it's just like, I, I was like, I kind of have to accept this one. They're not gonna pull the wool over our eyes again. Like that's too obvious. And then, I was like, damn. And then they showed. I think I was the only one in the theater theater that jumped up, and I was like, yes. <laughs> I really, I really was so happy he was back. Well, I knew, I knew, like. When they were walk- when Nina t- Hill took them into the that bunker, right? And yeah, oh yeah. The halls, like he's he wants to see you, and I'm like, eh, thank God, fucking Moon Fury. Right. After, no, but literally nobody else it could be. After a few minutes of thinking, you know, when he was dead, I'm like, no, nah, they didn't kill him off. They gotta find some way to bring him back. He was like, this is a fake or something or yeah. Uh, but you know, let's get off the of Fury died and get on my original thought, but that I said before this that we changed the first half of this movie to the, you know, Nick Fury gets shit done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and and Captain America's there too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Captain that's... America: Winter Soldier Part One. Nick Fury gets shit done. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty much what this was. I mean, Part he's... Two: Hydra. Because he, he's in that truck, surrounded by all you know the cops, right. and they're battering down the window. I'm like, all right, what's he gonna do? How's this gonna? I'm like, okay, he's trying to get out of there. The car's gonna fly. The car's just gonna take off and fly away. That's what's gonna happen. It's like it's window at one percent. Yeah, window is at. Window's not working. Windows at one percent. I'm like, all right, what is it? And he just says now, and then all of a sudden you know, the gun pops up, and within like two seconds, almost half of the SWAT guys are dead. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, Fury is bad ass. Yeah, that was an effective surprise. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, all right, so then they still set up his grave. They want He wants people to think he's dead. So he said, if anybody comes looking for me, direct them here at his, his gravestone. So what mm-hmm. does that mean now for the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. members, like, on, on TV, like the TV series? Are, is well, there going to be contact with Nick Fury, or do you think he's still going to play dead even to them? I think Nick Fury's going to come looking for Colson, because... Mm-hmm. He, you know, I think he's gonna want to talk to 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 Coulson. Yeah, I believe so. And Coulson's gonna want to talk to him. Well, Coulson's been wanting to talk to him for epi- you know episodes now. Right. So you know, here's this thing: if you know Shield and Hydra, like you know Hydra had its way with Shield this whole time. Hydra basically knows about the Blue Alien. Mm. I mean. Unless that was yeah. Fury's secret and his secret only. Well, I'm, okay. I'm well, starting to believe this, that was Fury's secret. Can we? It, yeah, I think it was. And can we? Can we talk about the clairvoyant for a second? Sure. Sure. I mean, who, Actually, hold on, just real quick, that. real quick before we move on to that, I just because I just want to end this with Nick Fury. Nick Fury, his grave. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. There, there's a very small reference here on his gravestone was the quote, "The path of the righteous man." Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was actually a nod to the character that Sam Jackson played in Pulp Fiction. Uh, that was that was uh, Jules yes. uh, Winfield's uh, most famous line from the, the movie. So yeah. I just love that they, they threw a nod to that in there. But, um, okay, yeah. so clairvoyant. So 
I think it's safe to say that the that the clairvoyant is the the German scientist, that giant, the the AI basically. Mm-hmm. Well, he, you know, because of you know his algorithm that would predict yes. how people would turn out in twenty yeah. years based right. on stuff. Yeah. So that basically, makes we can sense. Assume, Arnim we can Zola. That that's clairvoyant. Yeah, yeah, Ar- Arnim. And, maybe, and it. And in that case, if, if it didn't know about the serum and about, uh, not the serum, if it didn't know about the alien and about GH, whatever, whatever it was, um, then that has to be Fury's secret and his alone. Oh, right. right. Because, yeah, the whole thing with the clairvoyant was Coulson was know. dead and now he's not. Yes. Right. Couldn't see. Mm. Couldn't figure it out. Interesting. So I think it's, it's, it's safe to say that that AI is, is, is the clairvoyant. Was. Yeah, Arnim Zola. He uh, no, he is. Hmm. The AI is not gone. The that that room yeah. that the machine room was blown up is destroyed. But the AI is in the satellite, and the satellite was not destroyed. Right. Oh no, the, his algorithm was in the satellite. I think his no. AI. He wouldn't have that facility destroyed if that was the only copy of the AI. Right. No. Point true, but he kind of said, you know, my time is done. Like the way he said it. And everything like that, and the maybe, way he spoke. Maybe that, maybe that the computer in that room, the interface was Zola, the and 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 his his image, but I think the algorithm and the AI is still in the flash drive. Mm. The algorithm was in the flash drive, wasn't it? But it was also in the satellite. I thought he was in the satellite. Well, if he's in the satellite, then oh, maybe just, maybe it was right. in the flash drive and it was uploaded to the satellite when when Captain America put it in the, yeah. the computer. I think that Possibly. maybe would happen. But um, well, I, I don't think the clairvoyant. I don't think Zola the 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 AI. I don't think it's gone. Right. No, it's Zola is definitely not gone. Zola was was major part of the comics, and when he appeared in the uh, the first Captain America movie, um, people were kind of like, "What? He's." supposed to be like a holographic head uh, oh. on like a body or whatever he, he's not yeah. supposed to be a person mm-hmm. and comic book fans uh they were ecstatic when they they saw him kind of him back to his roots in in this movie so yeah um another another classic going back to the comics for for reference there but um yeah and something we also learned from this movie uh through hydra's infiltration of shield was that Howard and Maria's Stark's uh, death was intentionally caused by Shield under the control of Hydra? Who's whose deaths? Howard and Maria Stark. Oh, Tony, okay. Tony's, Tony's parents. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't actually. How did Howard die? I don't actually know. Car crash. Car crash. Car Both crash? him and Maria oh. died of a car crash, but it was okay. caused by Shield. We learned that. Uh, oh. it, it was mentioned briefly in this movie. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Um, there was a few other references to, to the other, some of the other Avengers. There were no Thor references that I was able to pick up. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys, uh, I mean, not really. And if it was, it was, it was minuscule. Yeah. Uh, There was a, there was a Dr. Strange reference. There There was, was there was was. another Dr. Strange name drop. This is the second time they've dropped his name. Right. Mm -hmm. So we had, we had Iron Man, uh, was mentioned when, uh, he said, uh, what's his face? Want them to swing by. He wanted to get, um. Nick Fury to have him swing by uh, his daughter's birthday party. His daughter's birthday party. Um, they mentioned that Tony Stark was responsible for the engine upgrades that the Hell Carriers got after he had close up, you know, mm-hmm. a, a close up view of them. And then and they I just showed think to him going Wee! in the the final thing when the the algorithm was uh, picking up people or whatever. Uh, Thomas Stark was one of the targets. Um, Thomas Stark. Tony Thomas. Oh, no. so, I name's... thought it was Anthony. Anthony Stark. It's not Thomas. Well, there was Thomas Stark was on the screen. I know that for a fact. So who is Thomas Stark in relation to Tony? Fuck if I know. I don't know. I know for a fact it's a Thomas Stark. Okay, I. You may be right, but I. It's Anthony Stark. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently, Thomas Stark is a dentist. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Oh, there was there was a Hulk reference. The serum. You, did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I that, didn't. I didn't say that. Stuff. But yeah. Yeah. And, the Hulk, uh, Hulk reference was uh, uh, what Fury used to make his heart stop. Yes. There was that. Um, was by, and by the it. Avengers Tower was very, very briefly seen in the the skyline. I don't know if you caught you know that. 
I didn't notice. No, I didn't catch that. Yeah, I was, barely caught it. Yeah. I think I was too busy squeeing. Yeah, it was, it was formerly Everything Stark. Was happening. Formerly Stark <laughs> Enterprise, right? Or Stark Towers? What was Stark, Stark Tower. Towers? And um, Stark Tower. It's just the the S T R K of Stark are now off the tower because of the Battle just, of New York. Just the A remains, and it's it's there for Avengers. For Avengers. Tower. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not sure that I, I'm looking up right now. I don't see anything uh, Thomas Stark, but he definitely, definitely 100% was in there as Thomas Stark had said. So yeah, we'll I don't know. Later. So, yeah, we'll find some information on that out later. Um, Stanley's cameo. Did you Did you guys catch his Stanley's cameo? I did catch yes. it, but now I forgot what it was. Is he the was security the, guard? He's the museum guard. Yes, I'm gonna get fired for it's this. Like, oh, yeah, that man, was... I'm so fired. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. I was waiting for his cameo, and then that was it. I was like, oh, he yeah. has such great cameos. I think probably my least favorite of his cameos was uh, of his recent cameos was the one on the TV show. Mm -hmm. Um, it was still good, but it I don't was, remember what that one was. He was just being escorted by two ladies on the train, and he like. Throw out some comments. Oh, the, the Italian tree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just it didn't didn't my snag me like some of the other ones. Like I love my favorite one was when he's in is Spider Man and Spider Man the Lizard in the new Spider Man. Spider Man the Lizard oh. are are battling and he's just like in the library with headphones on listening to music and they're just like tearing the library up behind him and he's clueless. No, my my favorite is the first Iron Man. He's Hugh Hefner. No. Um, yeah, my favorite, uh, one of my favorites is, even though it was different, the second Fantastic Four movie, Rise of the Silver. Know. He's trying to get into their wedding, and he's like, and he's like, name? It's like, Stan Lee. And the guy's like, yeah, okay. He's like, no, really, my name's Stan Lee. Like, <laughs> you're trying to get in, and they're like, no. Get, 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 get. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. I, see, I don't remember. I kind of blocked the Fantastic Four out of my mind. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, I think the movie. second one. I think the second one was better than the first one, if I remember no, I correctly. I, think the, I like the first one better. But, yeah, I thought they were both could have been way better. Oh yeah, well that's for sure. I'm sorry, yeah, Mar the Marvels just they keep setting the bar higher. They do with each movie, and event unfortunately, I think they're going to get to a point where they're going to set the bar so high that their next movie is just going <laughs> to at one point. I don't know. So, the rate they're going. I think there's enough to keep it interesting. They where... definitely see the fact that all these, and we're we're gonna talk about this in a little bit, but the fact that all these movies are interconnected now, it really feels like yeah. a comic book. It feels like a living, breathing comic book that you can watch. Like it's just like yeah, it's episodic, just the way the comic. Like you're waiting for the next one, and then there's the occasional tie-ins, and there doesn't always have to be a tie-in. Like you know, these characters are off doing other things. Like you see them doing the comics, and it, it's just. They they perfected this. This is Marvel has it perfect. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. Like Mike said, the bar just keeps getting higher and higher. I don't necessarily know that it's just gonna tank at one point. As long as they keep doing what they're doing, uh, mm -hmm. they can go forever. They they currently have plans. I think it's to what was it twenty twenty eight. I think oh, yeah. is they they have uh, a Jesus. set of plans all the way up until then. Jesus Christ. And even if there is a movie that tanks, I think that they can recover because one hundred percent. Look at oh, yeah. I mean you only have to look at the X Men movies. Mm -hmm. They they're still going. You know, X Men three, Wolverine, those tanked. Those sucked. I didn't mind they, the the I didn't think they were amazing. The Wolverine ones weren't too bad. Yeah. The first, first Wolverine ones, anyway. one was it, it it makes me violently ill. <laughs> that one. <laughs> um but Wolverine two was it was okay. They brought it back with first class, and you know, I think I think they're back in it with Days of Future Past. Oh god, the movie! I hope that it's not just a bunch of you know, well cut together promo footage, and right. it's actually as good as it looks. I, I I think they'll knock that one out of the park. I just hope Marvel gets rights to X Men back soon. It's not. I'm telling you right now, that's that's not happening. It, they're calling it like the age Unless of. Like, if you go by the end credit scene, you know, he, like, whatever the guy's name was, Von, whatever his name. Um, uh, Von Strucker. Yeah, Von Strucker. There we go. He's calling it the Age of Miracles when referring to Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Yeah. So maybe that's what they're going to say, you know, that these are miracle people or something like that instead of mutants. 
Right. Um, I think it's their in. At least it's their way of integrating the mutant storyline into the Marvel Universe. But the, as long as Fox keeps making movies, unless Disney cuts a very expensive deal... And Fox they might. F- they might come they up might. with some kind of partnership, too, because the way uh, The Incredible Hulk is still um, partnered with... Um, I think it's Paramount, right? Um, or is it Universal? I think it's Universal, actually. I don't know. The, the, because... Keep going, I'll find it. The, the Hulk... The Hulk that came out with Ed Norton, that one was Marvel Studios. Right, but it was still under distribution to... I believe it's Universal, if I remember correctly now. And any standalone okay. Hulk movie... Uh, it has a co-billing between Disney and whatever studio that is. Okay. Um, well, production and distribution can sometimes be two different things. Mm-hmm. If Universal still has distribution rights and Marvel has production rights, those are different. Right. Uh, Universal Pictures was the Eric Bana Hulk. Right. That was the first. That was the original. Uh, the remake was with Ed Norton. I'm was- aware. I'm aware of that. Give me a second. I'm getting there. I know. I just... just, just... Ed Norton was Marvel Studios. Uh, Distributed by by Universal. Universal. Okay, so Universal has distribution rights. That means that uh, uh, Marvel Studios took care of all of the production. That was all them. Right. And when it came to DVDs and sales and all of that, that was Universal. Right. So Disney could cut a similar deal um, with Fox and get the X-Men and, and Spider-Man back uh, mm-hmm. right now, probably not going to happen. Um, but who's yeah. to say in five, ten years? Yeah. We don't know. I would love to see Spider-Man in the Avengers. I really would. I'd kill to see that. Yeah, Spider-Man was always a uh, you know, great part of the Avengers. Yeah, so. I would kill for that. That'd be uh, great. I know that they had tried to get... Um, uh, Oscorp in the skyline for uh, the Avengers. Uh, they could Get not. It. They could not come to an agreement in time. Um, uh, that does not mean that the deal fell through. It just means that they couldn't get it done within the allotted time that they needed to. So, yeah. for all we know, we may see it in the skyline Avengers. for uh, for Age of Ultron. Yeah. So. Uh-huh. Yeah, Avengers too. But um, so Bucky was probably the best part of this movie other than the the hydra plant i think hydra plant was pro the yes the hydra plant uh we'll talk about hydra plant for a minute um the um talk about bucky we'll talk about bucky in a second but i I was sitting there with my friend and he doesn't watch the the other he doesn't watch the tv show and he's he's seen i don't know if he's seen the avengers but he's definitely seen captain america one and at least one of the iron mans and he's just he's like He's like, this is the middle part of this movie is boring. He's like, a, I go, I'm on the edge of my seat during like the slow parts. And I think it's more because of the TV show. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm just like, as they're sitting here and Hydra's unfolding and all this. And it means more to us, I think, because of the TV show. Because S.H.I.E.L.D. is a much bigger part of our little world now um, yeah. than it ever was. And I'm just sitting there every single thing that they're doing with Hydra. And I'm just like what are the repercussions for the show now? Like, how, how it, what, like, they've been building to this on the show forever. Yeah. The, there's a mole, there's this, like, you knew something was going on with S.H.I.E.L.D. You didn't know what, you, you didn't know if it was isolated to Coulson's team, or yeah. now we find out it's not, it's a much bigger picture, and half of the people that were on the show as S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, not in Coulson's team, but were, were the Hydra sleeper agents. Ja- yeah. Jasker Sitwell, uh, Maria, was it Maria Hill? I believe. Yeah. What? No, yeah. Mar- Maria Hill was still a good guy. No, who's who's the girl? Wh- what was the girl that ordered them to blow up Coulson's thing at the end? Oh. She's not. I, I don't think she's Hydra. I don't think she's Hydra. Hand. Yeah. I don't. Yes, I, that that's just makes more good. sense to me now. Why she ordered for the whole bus to be destroyed at the end I mean, of uh, the last does, week on I... Shield. I don't think she's Hydra. Cause she's her role in the comics is 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 a bit bigger. Uh because if they if they make her Hydra, her role ends there. If she's not Hydra, then she she goes on to do other things with Fury. She could be a double agent. 
she could. But I think, especially with the collapse of Shield, I think that she's going to be important because she's uh, her and her and Fury found Hammer after Shield uh, dissolves. True. So I think that that she's going to be necessary. Right. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll definitely be seeing tomorrow, huh? Because we're yeah. Because do- I definitely, I definitely, I'm not ready to believe that she's, um, she's Hydra, but we'll see. Right. For <laughs> for those of you that may not be watching this live with us right now, um, we're we're recording this on the Monday before Shield drops. So all this speculation, we'll find out tomorrow for sure, and then we will be back Wednesday with our Shield podcast to kind of see how the the events of this film really uh, changed the TV show uh, forever. But, um, okay, so Bucky. You wanted to talk about Bucky. Bucky! Bucky. So, I had all of the feels. For so, Bucky. obviously, we knew that uh, Sebastian Stan was going to play a large role in the film. Um, you had called it saying uh, that he was going to be the Winter Soldier. Um, um, I think that that wasn't really a call, it was more of. Educated calling. Guess. They've been saying it. Right. Like, right. It's an educated it's not- guess. Yeah. The, uh... Because Sebastian Stan left the, the previous show that he was on, uh, which was Once Upon a Time, where he played the Mad Hatter, uh, for filming S.H.I.E.L.D. So, if he had a minor role, he wouldn't have had to leave the show for it. So, we knew he had to have quite a big part in this movie. Um, Winter Soldier was pretty much the only uh, logical choice. Um, the interesting thing that I uh, I have noticed now is in the first Captain America movie, Yeah. there's a scene where Captain America and, and Bucky are on the, the train, and Bucky gets the shield, and he, he holds it, and he tries to block something, and he gets knocked out of the train. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. There's a scene in, in this movie now, Winter Soldier, where he gets Captain America's shield, and he's holding it. I, I believe this is a, a very big foreshadow of... Bucky Barnes becoming Captain America, which he did do in the comics. Uh, he replaced Chris Evans, uh, or Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, Chris Evans. <laughs> 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 well, he's going to replace Chris Evans, but yeah. Um, and and then furthermore into that, uh, Chris Evans has a six movie deal with Marvel, which includes you know the Avengers movies and stuff like that. Um, but Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky, has a nine-movie deal. So, it only makes sense that he's going to replace him. Okay. See, I don't think that that's necessarily where they're going. But three movies, that's at least, you know, two years down the line. Right. Oh, no, six movies, you said. Yeah, uh Chris Evans has six movies, so that's has Captain America, so that's Avengers, least- Captain America 2. That He's halfway through right now. Oh, I see. Yeah. So then the, that's at least two more years uh, worth of movie. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure that's where they're going. They can always pick him up again, extend his contract, whatever. I I, I hope. Except for the fact that Chris Evans said that after his deal runs out with Marvel, he's retiring from acting. And he's going to go oh, on to directing. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, yeah. I don't want that Captain America movie. Yeah. Well, in the comics, Bucky replaced him, and Sebastian I Stan and I think played an I, awesome I, I, role. I would like that. But I I think for now, I just want to see what happens when Cap catches up with him. Right. That will be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, what about Falcon? Awesome. Awesome. I love Falcon in the comics. I was so happy when they announced him. They did pretty good. They did amazing. Yeah. He he was actually on uh, Jimmy Fallon, I believe, Friday, last Friday, um, if you get a chance to go back and watch that. when Normally when a guest comes on the show and they show a clip from the movie and um, they showed the whole scene where, where they were infiltrating the, um, trying to get on the, the ships and uh, Captain America's running when he tosses their grenade. He's blocking with the shield. And and the actor who plays Falcon is on there, and he's doing commentary over the clip. Like, he's like, okay, this is where I could... Okay, that's, this is me, and then it cuts to, like, some, like, 30-second stretch of uh, Chris Evans doing Captain America. He's like, this is not me right here. <laughs> the, like, don't even watch this. Just close your eyes right now. Like, uh, 
his commentary <laughs> on it was amazing. But um, yeah, I don't know. I loved him in that role. I think it was. Um, I, I I thought the the whole character was awesome. It was kind of a little bit of a breath of fresh air, so to speak. This yeah. was Friday's Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I want I want Falcon to be around for Avengers and for for the next Captain America, and I think they're going to do that. Yeah, I really hope so. Uh, if you guys have not watched Jimmy Fallon, Wednesday, last Wednesday, was um, Chris Evans. Thursday was uh, Sam Jackson. And uh, Friday was who, the actor that plays Falcon. I'm sorry, I just don't know his name. Yeah, but, I don't know his name either. Yeah. I'll know it soon. You will know it soon. So, we talk about them a lot. Yes. So definitely check those out. All three of those were really uh, entertaining. And I think, and I think, out of everyone from Captain America, Sam. Well, yeah, I guess Sam would be the most likely character to make an appearance in Shield. Hmm. We talk about characters that uh-huh. from the movies that could make appearances in in the TV show. I think he's a very uh, likely candidate. Right. So. Um, at this point right here, we're going to, we're going to finish off talking about phase two, uh, of Marvel, um, and how the rest of this movie tied in with, uh, what's coming up for phase two. And, uh, then, uh, we'll come back immediately following this with, uh, phase three preview podcast where, um, we got a lot of, uh, stuff to talk about, some cool stuff and, and some speculation on where that stuff's going. So, um, at this point, I will change my background to that. Um, (laughs) yeah. So, post credit scene, very first one, was actually directed by Joss Whedon. I didn't know that. So. The first one, that was, um. The Hydra scene. The Hydra scene. With, uh. With Von Strucker? with, With what? With Strucker? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, in that we learn about Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. A uh, little background for, for people that don't know who Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are. They originally started out as villains, uh, and then they later joined the Avengers, and they played uh, a big role in, in... I was very, very pissed um, that it took me a while of staring at them to figure out that it was Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. I'm like, yeah. who... What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that that was kind of my reaction too. I was like, I'm watching them. As soon as I saw him, you know, <laughs> flit around the cage, I'm like, oh, yep. it's the two of them. No, yep. it, t- it took me a while, and I was very disappointed in myself. <laughs> um, they they're obviously their brother and sister. Uh, I, did they build them as twins? I don't remember. Yes. They said, yes. Okay, so yeah, they built them as. They called, he called them the twins. Called them the twins. And in the comics, their origin was actually an X Men, which. That's where the this fine line comes in here. They were Magneto's children. So, yep. The fact that they're they, able to play this this off now, I, I don't know how the, how they're gonna get away with not. Me- well, I mean, I guess they just don't say that Magneto was their father, but um, like, are, are they they seem to be going the route of not even mentioning mutants. No, there's they two, can't. There's two options I I see. Um, one. Is that they just don't mention that Magneto's their father and they use vague backstory or whatever. Second option is that they are not Magneto's children. They change their backstory and still don't mention that they're mutants. They're, they just have these powers and they're human. Uh. Um, what was I was talking I was talking to my dad about this. Who were we speculating could be their father? Shoot. Ah. I don't remember who we were we were mm-hmm. speculating could be their father. I think I might have said Strucker. Strucker. Eh. So now that I say it out loud. Yeah, I don't know. Red Skull. God. No. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's not. But he's in some unknown realm. Dimension, yeah. Some unknown time. Yes, he uh, went somewhere. Yeah. So, I'm waiting. For Red Skull to pop up, and I think it might be in Guardians. Uh, mm. If anything, post-credit scene in Guardians. Maybe. Yes, yes, I would love that. 
Yeah, because he is. You know that they are on the other side of the galaxy. Yes, exactly. Yeah, he could have been popped out. He could have popped out anywhere. Exactly. Um, the the other big part I think of that that scene was was Loki's uh, scepter at the end. The the Chitauri yes. scepter. Um, as it's yeah. sitting there, I, I think we discussed this briefly um, during our Thor podcast, but um. Is Loki Scepter part of the uh, the Infinite Gems? I don't think it is one. I, I think but, it is because we the, the the five stones of the Infinity uh, Gauntlet is mind, reality, soul, time, power, and space. That's so six mind, reality, soul, time, power, space. Yeah, so there's six gems. Um, the seven. the either either whatever however it's pronounced either. is power. Not, yeah, they're... space is the Tesseract. Right, Tesseract of space. Yeah, Loki staff does mind control. You know that makes sense. They haven't confirmed or denied whether Loki staff was one, but that would you know fit. Wasn't that staff? Wasn't that not? Is that Asgardian or is that Chitari? Chitari. It was it was Chitari. It was Chitari. Okay. That's how we're told it is, yeah. and I know in Guardians of the Galaxy they're going to reveal another one of the gems. Because that's going to be central to the plot, apparently. Right, and we know we know the Guardians of the Galaxy are trying to get all of them. Well, the collector's trying to get right. all of them. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. You knew what hmm. I meant. Hmm. Hmm. So. I don't know. Yeah. So, so what do you guys think? Do you think Loki, because of that final scene, is going to make a uh, appearance in uh, Age of Ultron, Avengers? I don't see why not. I don't he, see why not either. He's a Loki, huge fan favorite. We know yes, Ultron is that. the main villain. Yeah. Loki, Loki's a fan favorite. I And, and then, you know, I think his role with each movie is going to change because he's always changing himself. So, mm -hmm. and How did we leave him off now in uh, Thor? Thor 2. He, he was pretending to be the king? He was pretending to be Odin. Odin. Yeah. Yeah. And then so he's wait, like, is, I, I, I need to watch Thor 2 again because I fucking forgot. Is Odin dead? They don't tell you. They don't tell you. Just Loki's taking his place. Okay, this is what you get. Loki dies, right? But dies. then when they go back for the body, right? You know, <laughs> you know that gu there was a guard and he goes back to Odin and says, you know, there was a, we recovered a body. And that's all he said. And yeah. then Odin goes, Loki. And then the guard, you know you know, nods, but then he has this devilish grin on his face. Right, that was Loki. And then at the end of the movie, you know, Odin tells Thor, go do what you gotta do, you know, be merry, make babies, whatever, right? <laughs> and then as soon as Thor leaves, you know, the image just dissolves into Loki with a big shit-eating grin and, you know, yeah. you know, Thor, uh, Odin's spear in his hand like, yeah. I'm the boss again. Yeah. yeah. So... Guardians of the Galaxy comes out uh, August 1st, right? It's not too far away. Not too far away. It's, what, Thank four God. months away? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, it's got to tie in somewhere. They're not just going to throw a completely random movie. So, we already know that um, the in Infinite Gems, the collector's looking for those. So, that's part of the tie-in. Uh, we mentioned Red Skull. I think he's got to be. He has to be involved in this movie in some way, shape, or form, even if it's the post credit scene. Mm -hmm. Because that would Guardians? tie everything back. Yeah, Guardians. Because that would tie everything back to the Avengers. Yeah. Um, and there has to be some major tie-in between Guardians and Avengers. There has to be. Yeah. Um, I honestly think there's going to be a few. And and what about Ultron himself? What about him? Like, I don't know much about Ultron at all. I, I know I should, but I don't. Um, well, Ultron's, Ultron's supposed to be created by Hank Pym, who is Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. And... They're doing uh, Ant-Man after Ultron. Yes, so... Ant-Man will kick off Phase 3, which yes. uh, we will talk about uh, in our next podcast, but yes. Um, and basically, Ultron... God, what was the... What was the... Ultron was supposed to be, like... Like the perfect 
I forget I forget what the intention of, but it was an intended to be a good thing, a good thing for humanity. And then Ultron, uh, his AI gets out of control and he starts attacking, and like his 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 programming gets warped. I forget for what reason. Um, looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, so but um, uh, 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 the Avengers, the second Avengers, the Age of Ultron, does not come out until May first of twenty fifteen. So we have an entire yes. year to wait for that. Yep. Is there anything between Guardians and, and Avengers two? No. No. Guardians the wait. I thought they're. Were... Yeah, I thought they were doing. Uh, I thought that Marvel was doing. Uh, April, August releases every year. No, actually, I think it's no. This this is it, uh, and after uh, following um, uh, Age of Ultron, Ant Man uh, will be coming out that July, July of twenty fifteen. So we've had two movies this year, which is Captain America and Guardians, and then next year the two that we're getting is uh, Guardi- uh, Avengers and Ant Man. So. And we got spoiled. We got used to two movies a year. We did not fair at least we have shield yes exactly get picked up for for another season and i can't see how it's not going to Mm -hmm. i you know what and i thought that too until i talked to a bunch of people and they're like oh no we haven't seen it we heard it sucked for what shield yes but it's marvel they have all the money in the world and they can i know but all the i know but because of because of how big it tied in i can see so many people going back now and and catching up on it and even people that don't, um, I've, I've heard a lot of people just start with episode eight and, yeah. uh, they're just like, just start there. That's the only thing you need to see. Yes. That's what I've been telling everyone. I'm like, watch the first episode and then skip. Yeah. So. Okay. So August 1st, we get guardians of the galaxy and then we don't get, yeah. Avengers until May 1st. Yep. So. And then know. Ant-Man that July. So what are you guys expecting out of, uh, Avengers? Cause we just talked about guardians. So. Avengers, like, obviously, uh, Quicksilver and um, Scarlet Witch are going to be villains to start. They're, they're working with Hydra. We know that. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. well, they're being, they're being manipulated kept prisoner by yeah, Hydra. Yeah, they're going to be manipulated. I hope, they're going to start Von out Strucker, as villains. Hope Von Strucker has a big, a big part, too, because he was always my favorite of the cartoon. Because <laughs> he's just, like, you know, a stereotypical German Nazi fucking hy- leader of Hydra. <laughs> Sort of, and I, I, just, I don't, know, I love that. Yeah, no, I and I couldn't place that actor, but I know who he is. Who the uh, Von Strucker? He's playing Strucker. Oh my God, he got the. Looking through the cast. Yeah. Okay, so, so while he's looking through that, the the TV show is obviously the only thing that we have left right now to tide us over between. Captain America, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Um, and uh, at this rate, too, we're n- we wouldn't be getting S.H.I.E.L.D. again until when? If it's renewed for second season, it's not going to come out till oh. next uh, year? Right? They next should year. bring it back. Uh, oh, this fall, right? Season. Yeah, in the fall. So that will be the what, uh, what holds us over between... Uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and and Avengers, so I could see a whole lot of uh, tie-ins that of maybe even Shield going to other worlds, like Coulson's team going to other worlds and stuff like that. Stuff yeah, that uh, they set up in in Guardians of the Galaxy, stuff they really didn't want to play with in the first season, and rightfully so had no place to play with. Yeah, um, and I mean there are uh, since uh, Lady Lady Sif came, and you know is now sort of is now even more friends with Coulson, I think you can draw on the whole, that whole group, the, you know. Yep. I don't know what those, they're called. What are those those four heroes called? It's Lady Sif, the, the fencer, the fat guy, and the... Oh. Lady Sif. Lady Sif and the Warriors 3. La- Lady Sif and the Warriors 3. So I think you can call upon any of those characters um, to make appearances in, in S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're if you're traversing realms, then you're gonna want an Asgardian with you. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Um, 
Something uh, we didn't mention in our last um, S.H.I.E.L.D. podcast, too, was um, they mentioned Department H, uh, which is a reference yeah. to Alpha Flight, uh, another Marvel yes. little series going on there. Um, so they, there's so much that they can uh, they can play around with. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, Alpha yeah, Flight was basically out, the imagine. Canadian version of the Avengers. So... Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Though that they uh, Wolverines teamed up with them before. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. They. I think their debut was in one of the early X Men comics. Yeah. So, did you find the the actor, Mike? Yeah, his name was. Uh, I had it. Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> he's he's on like Wikipedia, and he's just like that clicking game where you, you like. Yeah. I. It, it, his name is uh, Thomas Kretschmann. Hmm. Yeah. He's German. Yeah. Like, and and I, I like I know so. him from a bunch of shit, and I can't remember. I should have looked it up on my own after I was. Yeah. Movie. Um, he's. Uh, I'm looking at his stuff here. He's really not from anything I recognize. I know his like I know his face. Like I looked at his face, and I was like, "You." Uh, <laughs> the TV series it. Dracula. Nah, I got it. All right, yeah, because I don't recognize anything on here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Goblin wants to know how they got away with um, the the Alpha Flight reference since it's Wolverine, um, and they um, I don't know. Um, they called them Department H, in um, in Shield, but uh, yeah, it says uh. Most of the team worked for Department H, a, a fictional branch of Canada's Department of National Defense that deals with superpowered villains. I mean, I think we can we can assume that uh, the rights that the X Men that Fox is using, like like all of the X Men, do not fall under that category. Right. Because there are a just... lot of fucking X Men. Yeah. We can we can gather from the fact that. Marvel Studios is able to use Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver that not all of them are out of their I think rights I think the way that they get it is if they're main characters in the X-Men comics they they're all the X-Men but if they have done a spin-off to another thing I think they're they're open cuz correct me if I'm wrong but Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are also appearing in X-Men Days of Future Past they different are. actors, but, but yes, they are. But yeah, they're completely different they takes are. on those characters. Um, yes, and I, I, my theory why they can you use them both at the same time is that one version, you know, one version falls under the X Men and the other version falls under Avengers. Right. Yeah. So that's why. in the case with Alpha Flight as well, um, it made its debut. I'm looking right now. It appeared in X Men number one twenty in April nineteen seventy nine. And then it spun off into its own comic strip, uh, uh, August 1983 uh, through March 1994 was the first volume, um, and it was just a comic known as Alpha Flight. So that's how they they got yeah. away with that reference. Hmm. But um, yeah. So I guess the only thing left to hold us over right now is we have the the end of Shield. So we're going to finish S.H.I.E.L.D. out, and then we're going to go into Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, we'll catch back up with S.H.I.E.L.D. again, uh, if it is in fact renewed, which I don't see how it's not going to. I, I really don't. I don't see it not happen. Like, I don't see them canceling it. There's no way they can do that now. Um, yeah. And uh, then we'll, we'll end with the Avengers, and uh, that'll that's the end of Phase 2. Yeah. So uh, I think that about wraps things up for here. So... Uh, Cleo, where can the people find you? They can find me at Cleo Moto on Twitter and Tumblr and Pinterest and Instagram and everything else. Uh, but on Twitch, you can find me at the Cleo Moto, and I just was streaming today very laggily uh, a couple games, and I'll be trying to do that again this week with less lag. Excellent. Uh, Mike, where can the people find you? They can also find me on Twitter at Thilladren, T H I L L A D R E N. Excellent. You can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. Phenomenon. Uh, you can catch all of us on tvcaptive.com as well as uh, 
ASO TV podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, G+, and right here on YouTube. Stick around. We are coming back immediately, or for those of you that are not watching live, there will be another video uh, you can check where we discuss Phase 3. And uh, catch you guys in a bit. Mm-hmm. Bye.